Hi, I'm Dan Limbach, producer of the Pharma Voice Webcast Network at the Scope Summit in Orlando, Florida. In this Editor's Take video, I meet with Tyler Pugsley, VP Life Sciences at Medible. Tyler, thanks for spending some time with us at the Scope Conference in Orlando. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure. Tyler, why is clinical research heading towards decentralized trials? Yeah, it's a great question. We're seeing a lot of traction within decentralized trials, specifically over the past, I would say, two to three months. And the reason for this that we feel is that, you know, the opportunity to actually bring the trials directly to the patients is extremely advantageous not only from a patient recruitment perspective, um, actually optimizing the screening process, as well as the study conduct, uh, providing that consumer experience for patients enables you know, more access to, to trials for patients, as well as that continued engagement and lower dropout rates, um, and really to ideally achieve the goal of reducing trial timelines. That sounds great. Let's talk about patients a little bit more. How will decentralized trials impact patients? Yeah, I think this is, a, this is one of the main aspects of a decentralized trial. Uh, number one, it's going to actually add more, um, more flexibility for those patients. So I like to make the example of, you think about DoorDash. So patients or people, you have the opportunity to go to a restaurant in person, you could order for pickup, or you could have it delivered directly to you. Those are all very three different experiences, but they're all achieving the same goal of eating food and hopefully getting full. So within a decentralized trial, you create that ability for the patients to decide, do I wanna to go to a site? Do I wanna have a home nurse come to me? Or would I rather just do this via televisit? So maybe that patient loves seeing their, going to their sites and you know, they like to go there for all their visits. Other patients maybe live 100 miles away, and it's really not feasible for them to go into every single site visit. That does seem to make it a little bit more complicated. So how does Medable solve the problem associated with decentralized trials? It definitely is. Uh, it's not an easy problem to solve. Uh, we have a technology platform that enables a, uh, patients and researchers or clinicians to be connected via front-end applications. So this would be an iOS or an Android smartphone application for patients and an iPad at the site. Within that smartphone application includes everything from telemedicine visits, uh, the ability to send out notifications and reminders, all of your ePro, ECOA, as well as connected devices. So we look at it as this um, single touch point for the patients for their entire trial. So as opposed to managing you know, paper diaries or other separate devices for ePro, it's that, that one application that's on their own phone that they can have that continuous engagement with. Sounds very promising. Tyler, thank you for sharing your insights with us at the Scope Conference. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this Editor's Take video. For more information about Medable, visit medable.com. And don't forget to check out our other Editor's Take videos at pharmavoice.com slash videos.